Has everyone had a day or two to calm the shit down? Yeah, you have? Lawyers, you guys chill? Because you went kind of psycho there for a bit. You okay? How about the Delhi police? You still as incompetent as ever? Huh? Good, good, because you know, consistency. If you suddenly start doing your job, the world might end. Now that everyone's had a second to chill, let's get started with the week's absurdities. No intro, no little jokes today. On this episode, all I'm going to do is explain why the statement JNU and his students are anti-national is the dumbest sentence on the planet. And no, it's not for the reasons you might think. Let's break that sentence down. First up, the use of the word JNU. Now let me just come out and say this. JNU is not nationalist. But JNU is also not anti-nationalist. Because, and this might surprise you, JNU is actually just a bunch of buildings. Buildings cannot have political leanings. It's impossible. So when news channels and politicians say a university is anti-national, I can only assume that they think architects have magical powers. JNU professors are from all over the country. And not all of its courses are all about the politics, man. There are people at JNU right now who are toiling day and night on their Navya Nayaya language and mythology doctorates. They don't care about your stupid anti-national nonsense. All they care about is their totally made up PhDs. And now the second part of that sentence. And it's students. Yeah, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that all the students inside JNU do not magically agree with each other. When you were in college, did you agree with the political views of everyone in your batch? Did you even speak to everyone in your batch? This is Rajiv. He was in your batch and you didn't once ask him about his views on communism. This doesn't even make sense because this whole thing started when two groups with completely opposing views, both from JNU, began yelling at each other. But of course, facts are merely speed bumps for the 12 coach local train of hate that is Subramanyam Swami. Subramanyam Swami, the opposite of whatever a moral compass is. He has asked that JNU be shut down for four months. Why? Even if the entire college behaved like one weird bog-like collective consciousness, anti-nationalism would still be like the fifth most important thing on their agendas. Sex, drugs, alcohol, sex under the influence of drugs and or alcohol, anti-national activities. Let's move to the third part of that sentence. R. It's a verb. English language. I actually don't know what to say for this guy. Fourth part of the sentence, anti-national. The term anti-national gets thrown around a lot these days, almost as much as the term journalist. Here's Arnab Goswami just tossing it around like treason don't mean shit. These are anti-national elements. All these anti-national people, anti-national position. You are just an anti-national element. They are Enemies simply anti-national elements. You are anti-national. Someone's going to name you as anti-national and I'm naming you as anti-national tonight. You are more dangerous to this country than Maoist terrorists. And here's some more footage from the number one English language news program in the country. You know, you know, that is an interesting point. Can you elaborate on that, please? Supreme Court bad, Parliament bad, India bad, Indian state bad, Indian police bad, Indian army bad, Nobody Pakistan and Afzal Guru good. Wow, he doesn't even have to form sentences anymore. Wow. There have been many people you who have questioned it. There have been many people who have questioned whether he's actually involved in the parliament attack. Is Times Now's hour long screamathon really the highest form of debate in this country? First up, if you're for something, it doesn't automatically mean you're against something else. But you should know that. You should know that real life doesn't work like Arnab's shitty news are graphics. No intelligent debate is this clear cut. This shitty format, by design, doesn't allow people to find common ground which is basically the number one issue with discourse in this country. Also, why are graphics always on fire? It's a TV show, not a Make in India event. Let's focus on the term anti-national for just a second now. Of course, there have been slogans that are horrific and straight up wrong. But is discussing capital punishment and the Kashmir issue anti-India? See what you've done? In all your screaming and yelling, you've merged together two completely separate incidents. One was a planned cultural event to discuss Afzal Guru's execution 
and the issue of Kashmir's right to self-determination. And the other was a rally when inflammatory slogans were chanted. This is why you shouldn't scream through an entire conversation. No one understands shit when you're screaming at them. It also makes conversation incredibly difficult. Hello, how is your wife doing? Why are you yelling? I'm trying to make a point. I understand that you're upset. Those slogans are upsetting. But in your rage, you cannot start ignoring things that don't fit your narrative. You can't club separate incidents together and assign guilt to people who were involved in one and not the other. For example, intelligence reports say that there is no evidence that shows Kanaya Kumar uttered anti-national slogans. Three ABVP leaders have resigned over the government's handling of the crisis. That's the group that opposed the cultural event in the first place. Even they don't agree with the way this is going. And Umar Khalid's terrorist sympathizer claims have been debunked by intelligence agencies. Once again, to be clear, I am not defending the sloganeering, but I am attacking you. And I don't just mean Mr. Goswami. I am attacking every single one of you that get angry before they understand, that make up their minds before they hear a viewpoint that isn't their own. On this show, I do you the courtesy of not putting you in one of these boxes. For sake, don't put yourself in one. You are better than just picking one side and sticking to it. I know you are. Don't let him, 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 or definitely him tell you otherwise. That's our show. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time.